It's traveled nearly 300 million miles from Earth, and just minutes from now, NASA's rover will attempt a nail-biting touchdown on the surface of Mars. Now, we won't actually see the landing. NASA's technology is not quite there yet, but we will be able to hear it listening in to Mission Control. You are actually looking at live pictures from Pasadena, California. Now, once on Mars, the rover will search for signs of ancient life and collect sound recordings. It'll even launch a helicopter, a first, actually, for another planet. It's just about to enter Mars's atmosphere. And I just want to listen in to Mission Control for a moment just to get a sense of what they're saying. On the surface of Mars. The subject is now waiting until it begins feeling the atmosphere of Mars to slow it down. Once there is enough atmosphere, it will start controlling its path to the landing target. Navigation is also confirming that we can see a little bit of that slowdown of the atmosphere on the Perseverance entry capsule. Our current velocity is about 5.36 kilometers per second and an altitude of about 67 kilometers from the surface. We are probably seeing MRO plasma blackout at this point. The vehicle should be doing its turns right now. MRO has lost lock. Perseverance. We have indications that Perseverance is now performing bank reversals in the atmosphere. These are the steps in order to control its distance to the landing target. Uh, Perseverance has just passed through the point of maximum deceleration and has indicated that it felt approximately 10 Earth Gs of deceleration. MRO has lock again. Yes, 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 yes. We saw a small outage uh, of the UHF telemetry from Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter during that peak heating phase likely caused by the plasma blackout. Perseverance is still continuing to perform bank reversals in the atmosphere to control its distance to the landing target. is going about one kilometer per second at an altitude of about 16 kilometers from the surface of Mars. We have entered heading alignment, which means Perseverance is no longer trying to control the distance to Mars, but in, to the target on Mars, but instead is flying straight to the target. Okay, we are listening in to NASA's mission control. As you were just hearing there, we have entered the atmosphere of Mars, and that precipitates what begins what's known as the seven minutes of terror, where it's simply impossible to communicate given the time it takes for signals to get between Earth and Mars. It takes around 11 minutes and 22 seconds for radio signals to travel between Earth and Mars. So it's simply impossible for NASA control to operate this Mars Perseverance rover. And the technology behind this is so important. It has to be able to control its own landing. Let's get the wisdom and experience of CNN's aviation analyst, Miles O'Brien. He's in Vero Beach, Florida, for us. Miles, great to have you with us. Just explain what we're in now, this what's known as the seven minutes of terror where communication is impossible. There are so many things that have to go perfectly right right now, Julia, all automatically, all without any human input except for the pre-programmed algorithms on board the craft, uh, that it's frightening. Uh, no less than 79 explosive bolts have to fire in a certain succession, and each one of them has to fire 
or it's game over and there'll be a crater on Mars. Uh, the complexity of this is hard to comprehend. And what makes it so difficult for the engineers who are the, the mothers and fathers of perseverance is they just can only stand by and watch. And I should point out to you, Julia, that whatever has happened has already happened because we are going to be uh, finding out 11 minutes after the event, because as you pointed out, radio signals from Mars, about 124 million miles, about 200 million kilometers away, take about 11 minutes to get to us. And so whatever has happened has happened. We're just waiting now for that radio signal to come back to us. We do know this. I just want Based to listen that, in to what the mission control is saying now, because we are seeing clapping and the parachutes deployed. So there's definite optimism about progress here. Let's listen in. is continuing to descend on the parachute. We are coming up on the initialization of terrain relative navigation and subsequently the priming of the landing engines. Our current velocity is is about 90 meters per second at an altitude of 4.2 kilometers. Almost there. We have confirmation that the lander vision system has produced a valid solution and part of terrain relative navigation. Yes. 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 We have timing of the landing engines. Current velocity is 83 meters yes. per second at about 2.6 kilometers from the yes. surface of Mars. We have confirmation that the back shell has separated. We are currently performing the divert maneuver. Current velocity is about 75 meters per second at an altitude of about a kilometer off the surface of Mars. Here in safety, Bravo. We have completed our terrain relative navigation. Current speed is about 30 meters per second, altitude of about 300 meters off the surface of Mars. We have started our constant velocity accordion, which means we are conducting the sky crane, about to conduct the sky crane maneuver. We've lost direct to Earth tones. As expected, as expected. Sky crane maneuver has started about 20 meters off the surface. We're getting signals from MRO. UHF is good. Touchdown confirmed. Yeah. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. At this point, the descent stage has flown away to a safe distance. Perseverance is continuing to transmit direct through jubilation. To jubilation, as you can see there, as seven months in the making, we've touched down on Mars. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. More reports, they're still getting telemetry from the lander. All right. Oh. All right, all stations. Oh, we got it. Touch We're there. Confirmed. We're going to wait for the images. I, I, wow. This is so exciting. I, the team is beside themselves. It's, oh, it's, it's so surreal. Stay tuned. We might get some pictures. That'd be great. has been riding on this. Yeah. yeah, we just heard the news that Perseverance is alive on the surface of Mars. Yeah. It's not, uh, not the flight. flight. We have seen the completion of EDL 3000. Copy activity. That is as expected. Okay. Uh, you've just joined us. What you have been watching in the last few moments is the completion of a seven-month mission to They're land the rover the Perseverance on the surface of Mars, and we have just seen the jubilation 
and the success of that. Miles, it still gives me goosebumps. It doesn't matter what we watch, just seeing the joy of a success like this. Just explain how momentous this is and what now we're going to achieve, we hope, with this landing. Yeah, this is, you know, it's a turning point for the mission. There's been that long point of just getting to the surface. And this moment we just experienced together is such a big deal. It's so difficult to do what they do. The folks at the Jet Propulsion Lab at NASA's facility in Pasadena, California, they do make it look easy, Julia. They are five for five when it comes to landing rovers on the surface of Mars. And it's, it's an extraordinary accomplishment when you think of it. And this begins um, a, a mission which will go on for quite some time to search for the ancient signs of possible life in what was a very warm and wet uh, sea three and a half billion years ago. Uh, and I think we're getting some initial pictures from the surface, which is gonna be interesting to see, but that's just for starters. This will just be basic, uh, you know, uh, low resolution, relatively speaking, images.